Sarah, congratulations. Maraming salamat. For being, ano, also, my constant playlist. <laughs> Thank you. Also. And, uh, siguro, this is going to be one of the biggest also for your fans to, ano, to watch out for. Will you be preparing a different kind of, ano, uh, playlist na hindi nila inaasan? Or you will also, um, and dag the pauunlakan mo yung kanila mga request. Sabi pa ulangan po natin yung requests nila but ang um, gusto ko rin po mag-introduce ng bagong song si mga in-introduce ko nung Braver Concert. Um, napaka-fresh po kasi nang sa puso ko kasi recently lang naman sila sinulat and so um, bilang ang um, universe um, is mounted by my kuyas and um, they're so, it's so personal to me I want to share personal songs as well. Are you also ano, um, liking all the other bands who will be featured there? Katulad ng, kasi syempre yung tingin namin sa'yo, your Moira. The Moira sound. Iba yung tunog ng mga ano, banded na kasama dyan eh. May mga rock-rockan dyan, di ba? Actually, mag-rock po ako sa akin. Ha? Hindi. Hindi. No, na, sobrang excited ko po at sobrang natutuwa po kasi um, bago man or hindi, lahat magkakasama sa isang malaking music festival and this is such a great thing because nung ako po nagsisimula po ako hindi naman po ako nabigyan ng malaking music festival but it just really shows the hearts of um, Sam Melby and John Kratz because it really shows na naniniwala talaga sila sa talent na hindi yan sa kasikatan or Ano, kung, kung may talent ka, we will invest in you and we will give you a stage. Kasi nung ako po, nung nagsimula po, oh, grandparents day lang naman po yun ako. Oh, tapos tulog pa yung mga yun. <laughs> sa akin, nakiubo lang. <laughs> so, um, it's very, it's, it's, such a, it's such a great thing to witness and to be a part of. Pero nagtry ka rin mag-rock? As in rock? <laughs> um, nagtry po ako sa so isang gig ko with uh, December Avenue. Ginawa na may rock yung uh, yung Malaya. Mm. So okay naman. Kung Kiko. Yeah. <laughs> Ito ba yung una na music festival? Nag-cook. Ay, hindi pala natuloy yung cook, no? Hindi, <laughs> oo. <laughs> yung cook namin, hindi natuloy. Naging ano yung cook namin, naging ano, stampy na yun. Ito ba yung but this is I think my first I think this is the first one in a long long time <laughs> Meron bang particular band kang kilala o naging friends na kasama dito? Opo, ang agsunta po, actually, mga kaklasiko po yung college. Yes, kaklasiko po namin ni Jason. Wow. Barkada po namin yan. Kami po yung laging late. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, um, hindi po namin... <laughs> <laughs> gusto ko po bumalik. Gusto, gusto ko lang gusto ko bumalik. Pero nung time po na hindi ko na po kasi afford tapusin yung college. Um, and so I had to drop out and work. And um, I think it was the same for Jai. But then um, we learned so much. Yung buong bag na po na yan, nagtapos po yan. And then um, ang autotelic naman po kasama ko po sila sa Elements Songwriting Camp. Um, under my Ryan Kayabya. So this is in 2013, I think, or 2014. So I'm going to go to the baby. No Saturday, they jumped in the Yes. So, what is it? Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Pinakauna 
ngayon, siya lang, ikaw naman yung susuport sa kanya dito sa, sa biggest event and first ever na music festival na susugaran niya. So, paano yung magiging isapan mo? Paano pa? Ito ba pagbibigay mo ng, ng ano tawag dito? Utang na loob or tulong sa kanya bilang kaibigan ng director? Um, hindi ko po kasi siya makita as utang ng loob kasi feeling ko part talaga ako ng universe ng brain ball. Um, hindi ko po siya makita as favor, but it's really as a duty as a, as a sister, as a as a fan, as as family of Kuya Brady and Kuya Sam. So, feeling ko kailangan ko talaga to be here because not just because I need to, because ang dami nilang nagawa for me, but because I really, really want to. Um, and how it was to work with Kuya Prati um, for Braver Concert. Napakakalm ako po. Kasi iba yung director na alam niya yung gagawin niya sa buong stage. Kung anong gusto niya, kung anong yung vision niya, kung anong gusto niyang mangyari. Pero iba din yung director na alam lahat ng yun, pero alam din yung puso ng artist. And so, hindi ko po, um, hindi po ako nag, baka sa, nag, nag, ano, nag-alinlangan. Hindi ako nag-alinlangan na na i-trust, ibigay kay Kuya Brad yung buong trust ko kasi napakagaling po niyang artist director kaya napapagsabay niya yun kaya tahig-tahig po yung um, yung braver and so you can expect the same for universe kasi um, nakita niyo naman po lahat ng sa- yung success niya as a director from Kay Brosas to me to Richard Poon and Eric Santos napakagaling po niya so we can only expect, you know, him to give it, to give us an amazing show. Uh, well, uh, you will be probably one of the biggest or the highlights of the events then sa universe kasi ikaw yung pinakamalaking artist ko. Uh, ano yung, ano yung mapapayong mo yung doon sa mga, sa mga kasama sa universe music festival na hindi pa ganun mo nakilala, na gumagawa pa ng nangyay, uh, para maabot din yung you were on a great path. Actually, may kausap po kanina. Um, and this is something I want all artists to know, whether they're in universe or not. But, ang dami po kasing, ang dami po kasing artists, pag ay tao, pag sinabi mo, ah, singer po ako, or songwriter po ako, or artist po ako, parang sabi nila, ay, sana, sana sumikat ka, no? But that shouldn't be the goal. As long as you get to touch one person's life, and your goal is to keep touching people's lives, you're on the right path. Kahit dalawa lang yan, kahit isang daan yan, kahit 20,000 pa yan. Um, and so, I love the, I, I really love talking about this because ang daming na discourage ngayon. And ako po, seven years po walang nangyayari sa career ko. So, parang letal lang yun na nanonood yung first album lang. So, po, pamilya ko lang ang dumating. And so, <laughs> kasi kailangan. And so, hindi, ayaw ko po kasi yung feeling na yun eh. Yung, yung feeling na failure ba ako? Pero nakapaglabas naman ako ng kanta. Nagawa ko naman to may creative process ako. Pero failure ba ako dahil walang nanonood sa akin? But as long as you are able to express yourself and you are true to yourself and you reach out to one person, you are successful. And so that's what I want new artists to know because, you know, your identity should never be based on numbers. Uh, last question, Mike. Uh, dati kasi, yung mga senior, dati sila kakaroon ng basis. Uh, for example, may Regine Velasquez, lahat nagayaan ng Regine Velasquez. Ngayon, ikaw yung naging standard ng lahat ng mga bagong artists. Anong feeling na nagkaroon pa ng creation bilang isang uh, singer and bilang isang artist na nagkaroon na you, you, you create something to the, the young artist na puro ganun na rin yung binagawang dyan na, na sinusunod ka na rin para ikaw yung naging standard mo nung simula nila. Um, I'm very, I'm very, very honored. Um, ang dami ko rin po kasi inidolo nung bata ako. Ang dami kong nagaya growing up and on my way to finding my voice um, from Tori Kelly to Brooke Fraser to Taylor Swift at one 
quiet. Naging kaboses ko po sila na. Um, but they were all, they all became avenues into finding my own voice and my own style. So, napaka laking karangalan po na maging avenue rin ako para sa mga artists na to to find their own voice. May magkaiba ba yung, kasi ikaw na pumupuno ka na ng Araneta eh, magkaiba ba yung pressure noon sa yung ganitong music festival knowing malaki rin yung crowd nito? Siyempre naman, kahit lang kung tatlo lang manood sa akin, natatayo pa rin ako. May sobrang kaba ako. <laughs> hindi na nga po sa show, nang sobrang kaba ako. Um, hindi po talaga na wala. May stage fright kasi ako. So kaya kanina, di ba, uusog ako kasi malapit kayo. <laughs> um, uh, in, for me, siyempre iba yung, magkaiba naman talaga. Kasi iba po yung solo concert ko. Nasa akin lang yung pressure. Siyempre ito medyo hati na yung pressure kasi may mga kasama ako. But at the same time, the weight is also here pa din because um, hindi naman po biro na magbayad ng ticket at, at mag, mag-travel para lang manood ng artists. So you really, as artists, you wanna make sure that they all get what they paid for. That, you, that, they, they, that they find what they paid for and what they traveled for worth it. So the pressure is definitely there. Um, but the, also the excitement that I get to share the stage with these amazing artists. Pag ganitong line-up ba, ano, namimili ka ng, or sa, kahit sa isip mo lang gusto mo, sana kasunod ako ng ganito para yung, yung energy pagka sila na yung tumutok. Yeah, may ganun, may ganun ka ba? Basta ako, ayaw kung sinusundan si Mama Rich. <laughs> Dapat bago ako ni si Mama. Bago si Mama Rich, dapat ako. <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> yung expectation nandun eh. So, dapat pa ganun. <laughs> um, and ayaw ko pong sinusundan ng rock bands. Pero minsan, kapag tahing-tahing talaga, may mga times na nag-work yun. Yung parang puro rock band, tapos break. Ako yung break na yan. So, um, but also, this new album kasi, this new era that um, I'm in, hindi po siya ganun ka-soft. So, may mga songs na mas mabigat than my usual songs. Um, so, I don't know. Wala naman po akong, ano, wala naman po akong mga request or request. Basta may banyo kami. <laughs> <laughs> Moira, meron ka pa rin po bang ano, dream collaboration? Opo. Si ano, pwede mangarap o yung ah, ah. local. <laughs> pwede pwede mo. mangarap. Yung pare. ano, mga 70% pwede mangyari o yung 2%? <laughs> both, both, both. <laughs> um, ngayon po, na, ang dami ko po kasi yung napagdaanan na hindi ko in-expect na kapapagdaanan ko. So ngayon, ang dami kong nasusulat ng worship songs. And at the moment, locally, ang gusto ko pong makakolaborate si Tito Gary, si La, Tito Ogi, in terms of songwriting. Um, and kung kakanta sila with me, why not? <laughs> um, it's, 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 it's a dream of mine. It's a stirring dream in my heart at the moment. Um, and then internationally, si Ed Sheeran. Yeah. <laughs> and are are there still songs that's difficult for you to sing? Meron ka pa bang yung sana one day na perfect ko na to? Meron po sa bago album, kasi. I really went out of my comfort zone with some of my collaborations kasi um, alam ko kaya ko pero natatakot ako pero hindi ka pwede maging braver kung hindi mo if you face your fears mo so I wanted to translate that into song and I know that someday soon when you know as I practice and I keep battling that fear mapaperfect Ano naman? <laughs> Pumayat ka? Uh, 
diet siya. The international album will be out um, at the end of the year, I think, or first quarter next year. Because and dami ko lang nangyari this year na yung dapat end of dapat year na eh. um but and dami rin po masok na bagong collaborations i'm going to be collaborating with us the duo um end of october i think magpunta ako na america to to record with them and then um Jesse Barrera and uh and dami ko pong gusto pang tapusin kasi bilang pinakauna ko siyang international album kasi sold out talaga ako so um we're really gonna make sure that we work hard for it um yung mga na record na namin to um na record na with DJ Flit he's a Grammy award winning producer mm -hmm. as well as um he's written songs for me and Trainer and um Common Kings and then si uh si uh Si Harv and si Felicia, sila yung nagsulat ng ano, um, What do you mean? Ni Justin Bieber. Um, it was such an amazing experience getting to work with them. So, tapos na naman yung mga kanta namin with them. And yung mga kantang sinulat ko on my own, and yung Jason. Uh, yeah, Bravers coming um, sometime in, in the next few months. But my Tagalog album, the Paalam album, is coming out this month. Or next month. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very soon. Very soon. Wait, I'm not sure about your part. Why are you writing this song? Especially for the audience. And can you give me a good explanation of the different market? So, can I have a good chance? Or personally, if you want to do it, can you give me a good chance? I'm here. 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 I'm here sa middle ng nandun ako sa adjusting period dahil yun na nga, iba yung audience na yun hindi ko sila kilala um, kilala ko yung mga film pero <laughs> yung international, buo yun eh um, it's so diverse and at first um, syempre gusto kong mag-explore kasi you, you, you won't know what you love until you fall a couple of times and so I'm starting to learn something about myself that I actually love R and B. Um, that's something I'm learning to um, express also through my movements. Because it's so brang hinhin ko. So kaya ko na tong galawen. Ita hindi. But it's very na aral ko ngayon. And um, but ang puso ko parehong kahit anong mamahal ko jan, mahalin ko jan. Um, it's still in folk, and so I'm gonna make sure that my next album will have that um, that meat in the middle of folk and R&B. Any sorry, uh, any plans like say yes, but also you can make the hard one and emotional yes in the summer. Maybe in the fall summer. Yes, actually, I'm the one who will promote this to Nico Pascual and to KZ Tandingan, and so I think I'm. But I've recorded already. Yeah. Actually, gusto ko talaga, gusto ko talaga siya i-absorb na lang din dun sa album ko kahit two songs. Kasi napaka, yung, yung sinulat ko with my cousin Niman, nine songs yun, na sinulat namin in three days. Tapos, in a span of two months, na record namin lahat, na promote namin lahat, na release namin lahat. And so, I'm so proud. Yun talaga yung, kung may epitome yung songwriting career ko, yun yun. Yun yung pinakapaborito kong songwriting experience. Kasi sa kotse namin si Lula, tapos ngayon nasa banya na ng mga ibang nao. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, puro banya mo ako today. <laughs> Amazing feeling. So I, I really hope that we get to promote it more. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Hi, I want a question for Hi, Francis from for you know experience for stage for Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> so first question: When you're uh, writing songs or composing, because before I interviewed a person and he said that when he's writing song, he he go for sad stories. So kayo po or we go for happy story or yung pero yung pinaghugutan po nila yung sad songs of other people. I uh, sad stories of other people. Kayo po ano po yung do you, ano po yung when you write your songs po? Ako po ano po talaga nararamdaman ko at the moment kung apektado ako sa relasyon ng iba kong mga kaibigan like si Ate Karis Naalis Nasusulatan ko po siya ng for a movie. Kung manungkot yung movie, malamang sad story talaga malalabas mo doon. Pero yung on a normal basis, ang susulatin ko po, yung nararamdaman ko talaga. So I, from experience, I know when a song was written to express, and if a song is, was written to impress. And I don't want ever for anyone to be able to hear one of my songs and say, wait, she's trying to impress someone. So as much as possible, I want it to be as authentic and as real as it, I can make it. Next question. Speaking of ano, feelings and yes. emotions, uh, trending daw po kasi na yun yung, uh, si, Vice, yung ano to, si Vice Ganda yung ayon, yes. yung uh, ano to, uh, emotional na pag sabi nila ng I love you. Kayo po ba na naka-experience na, 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 na po ba yung umiiyak kayo na nagsabi ng I love you sa partner po ninyo? Ano oh, naman? Oh, naman? Actually, recently, um, kasi naging normal na sa akin yun eh. Saan <laughs> naman ka usap mo? Ate Karis. Sobra po kasi yung pagod na naranasan namin the past few months. Kasi from Idol, straight to Asap Bay Area, straight to recording in LA, straight to preparing for the concert, and then promos, and then concert. So, medyo ngayon, ngayon lang po kami nakapagpahinga ng konti. Um, and dur pagpagod naman yung emotions talaga na tumataas eh. And um, yung depressive mode ko po, trigger siya sa pag nasa-stress ako. And one time, pa, sobrang lungkot ko lang. Tapos, yung asawa ko, dinignan niya ako sa kami niya, I love you. It's iyak ka ng iyak. <laughs> Kasi, doon mo makikita na choice niya yun eh. Kasi, monster po talaga ako. <laughs> hindi po ako yung, ano, hindi po ako, alam mo, hindi naman ako sumisigaw-sigaw, pero hindi ako, calm and collected and I'm not always the wife I want to be. And so in days na hindi ako yung ano, as like I love you siya, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. Good night. <laughs> Thank you po. <laughs> Guys, sorry. I'll talk a little Si Derek Prati. Hi, Derek. Derek, I didn't see all of you. Hi, Derek. And you and Mo, what do you do? Hi. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I'm just going to talk to you. Hi, Derek. Hello. Hi, Derek. Hello. 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 Ayun, hindi ko na pa yung ako doon. Napatunta na ako today. Hi, boy. And, um, ayun, I hope to see you there and spread the word. Um, uh, five days. Five days na lang ba? Oh, oh. Five days na lang ba? Five days na lang ba? Magpunta ko kung ano na expect nila. Kahit na live na, kahit kami nagaling yung mga lineup na five days. Ano na expect nila? From what time until what time? Ayun. Um, open po kami ng, gates open ng 11. So, mag-start na kami ng 1 p.m. 
dire-diretso na siya. And kanina kasi may narinig akong question na siyempre yung aklakan, na si Moise. Um, that's the whole objective of haters. Yung mag united lahat ng genres. At the same time, to inspire these kids na siyempre hindi lang sila nandiyan to enjoy or to party. But you know, na pagkalis nila sa universe, meron sila na sarili nila na the positivity that they can spread paglabas nila ng universe business. Okay, invite na lang last invite. I was here there. Um, five days to go, universe ako. Medyo pinakabahan na ako. Ito na yan tayo pinakamatagal kong itinirin. Simula 1 hanggang 3 a.m. <laughs> So, <laughs> 1 a.m. to 3 p.m. 1 p.m. Simula 1 p.m. at 3 a.m. So, nagpalagay ako na sarili kong portal yan. So, malamang nandun lang ako sa booth ko. And, uh, gusto niya ako makita nandun lang ako. The whole day. Okay, thank you, Brati. Babalik ka na sa scene. Sa thank you, guys. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Bye, boy. Bye, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Ano yung pag-sabit ng question? Bakit, Brati? Brati, may mong tatanong. Meron. <laughs> Direk. Direk, yung pong ano, yung pong beneficiary ng universe, would you like to tell us paano niyo po uh, nakuha yung yung ano, yung beneficiary Ah, sige, sige, Yung beneficiary ng universe po, paano po ninyo na, na uh, nakuha? Paano mo pa paano daw kayo na come about dun sa Beneficiaries ng universe. Ah, hindi kasi yung yung dad ko, meron daw meron siyang special yung lola ko, meron sila. Parang actually matagal na rin namin na tinutunuman yung, yung charity na yun. And then sabi ko, why not start it now uh, for, for the elders na uh, yung kikitain ng universe music festival, yung iba doon, ito donate namin para sa mga elders para hindi lang siya alamin ng music festival na tapos nag-enjoy ka. Parang, gusto rin namin na yung mga tao, alam din nila, aware din sila na bumilis na ng ticket, nag-enjoy sila at same time nakatulog. At kasi first time ko po narinig na uh, may elderly. Okay, first time na rinig for the elderly. Prati, may nagtatanong oh, kanina. For the elderly? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ako naman, kaya Prati. Sabi ko lang, gig ko dati mga lola lang naroon. Tapos ngayon, may benefit sila sa show natin. Si Moira, si Moira, kasi enjoy it. Close your lola, di ba, Moira? Oo. Kaya may nag-exam ko sa mga lola, kasi 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 mga lola, k